So what we've been given here in the Williams Tactical Pen is not just a very functional pen, and it is that, I'll talk about that in a second, but also a tactical weapon, a tactical defensive kind of weapon. Hello my friends, Late Boy Scout here, and in this video we're going to talk about the Williams Tactical Pen, which is right here in this pouch. I'm not going to show it to you just yet. First we're going to explain and kind of discuss some ideas about general self-defense. Now I've clearly got a handful of things here on the table that are related to self-defense. First we've got the Benchmade McHenry & Williams Model 710, that's correct, yes, the 710. A big blade, four, four or so inches. But when you talk about a blade in a self-defense scenario, um, do you really need some high-end training to be able to employ that correctly or properly or effectively, I guess is what we should say? Well, some people will say yes. If you're going to use a knife to defend yourself and to disable your attacker from continuing to hurt you, I think it's probably best to have good training in edged weapons. What are some other ways that a big knife like this could be employed? And that brings us to some of the other things we have on the table. Um, the idea of a coubaton, you know, putting it in your hand like this, wrapping your thumb around it, having a blunt edge right there to cause some blunt force trauma to your attacker. And in, in this fashion right here, we're talking about extremely gross motor skills. Okay, just a little hammer blow coming down on a portion of the body. That's certainly an, an option, a way to employ this. Better than employing the blade? I won't argue that point or, uh, or assert anything there, but it's certainly an option. Now here's something that's a dedicated coubaton. This is something that came from Cold Steel. It's basically the same, the same idea, except it's a dedicated coubaton. It's, it's, it's extremely lightweight. You know, it uh, slips into a cargo pocket without much difficulty and doesn't take up a lot of space or really make itself known. Uh, there's some jabbing you can do this way, some jabbing you can do in a hammer blow that way. Certainly a good self-defense weapon if uh, that's all you got. Uh, but it lacks in reach, much like this does. Which brings us to this one right here, the collapsible baton. And this, I think, is a 16-inch collapsible baton made by ASP, ASP. I'm going to say that that's probably going to be better than this or this uh, to the untrained person. Because swinging this around, getting velocity with this thing, and the reach associated with it, very, very good. Uh, very effective, I should say. Let's move on now to the thing that this video is actually about, which is the Williams pen made by CRKT. Uh, who is Williams? James Williams. That's who it is. James Williams uh, is a uh, army officer and martial arts instructor who has designed a lot of knives and other things, and he decided to put his knowledge of martial arts and so forth into a tactical pen. And you're wondering why I've had this pen sitting here on the table all this time. Well, now, yeah, now you understand why. Having a pen handy on an, for everyday carry, uh, from an everyday carry standpoint, huge, huge. So James Williams came up with this idea. Not he's not the first person to invent a tactical pen, but this is his design for a tactical pen. And I just I had to show you this cool case, right? I had to have this out here because it's just so cool looking. It's got like a little pocket up here, little mesh thing going on here for you to keep other things inside of. And then look at that. It just cut out just for that pen. Oh man, that's so cool. What a great way to present something like this, you know? Not just in a little, I don't know, shrink pouch or whatever you might put your other, your average knives in or something like that. But uh, it's just a great presentation on this. Obviously that came, that also came inside this big box. Okay, so that's, that's the full presentation there. The box, the pouch that you certainly want to keep. And, uh, the very nice pen. So what we've been given here in the Williams Tactical Pen is not just a very functional pen, and it is that, I'll talk about that in a second, but also a tactical weapon, a tactical defensive kind of weapon. Now, this is not as sharp as any blade, okay? Let's point that out real quick. That is a real stabbing point. This is not. It's a blunted point. Are you? Can you still puncture? Depends on the part of the body and how much velocity. Sure, sure, you certainly can puncture, but it's not designed to puncture. It's designed to create, it's designed to hit, I think, certain points of the body, cause enough pain to drive your attacker back. Now, do you need, this comes back to sort of what we talked about with the knife and the other things, do you need proper training to be able to use this, to be able to use something like this? Um, 
in certain situations to be most effective? Absolutely. Proper training will help you. But can you use something like this without proper training? Well, I've been carrying it, have not employed it, I'm glad to say, in any way, uh, except for writing stuff, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I believe this can be employed in a very effective way, and this comes back to sort of the, the hammer fist thing. You may not know how to properly employ this, or even this, or even this, but we're talking about gross motor skills. Really simple motions. Grab this. Put it in your hand like so, keep your thumb over that, lock in real tight, squeeze onto it hard, and just start jabbing, dude. Just start jabbing. Let's move, move on to the actual pen. It's a very nicely designed pen, and I really like it. Let's take some of these things off the table so they're not too distracting, because they're kind of distracting me. Um, it's very nice looking. And this is one of the things about a tactical pen that I think is pretty important. You want it to sort of, um, you want to be able to use this as a pen without creating alarm, you know? Making people go, whoa, what in the world is that in your hand? If you've got something like this out, they might think something of it because of the pointishness going on there and sort of the shape. But it's really kind of, otherwise, kind of sleek and kind of sexy looking. So maybe you wouldn't think of this as a weapon at all until it got employed as that. What's it made of, by the way? It's made of, uh, I think it's that aircraft grade aluminum, uh, hard coat, yeah, precision machined aluminum, and uh, it's hard coat color anodized, so it's, you know, anodized black, which means it's going to be pretty durable, stand up to the use that it's designed for, I'm thinking. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the ballpoint pen itself, and by the way, that's kind of how you use it. It's just a cap that comes off, which is, guess what? Yeah, it's a Fisher Space Pen under there. And I figured that out by undoing this right here. And that's where it comes un apart and undone. And underneath, manufactured by Fisher Space Pen Company for CRKT. And there you go. You can get refills by visiting CRKT. So really cool. You know, of course they would put a Fisher Space, space Pen in there. And what is a Fisher Space Pen? Most of you guys know if you're watching this. But uh, it's simply a uh, pressurized pen. So it can write uh, when things are wet, um, uneven surfaces, you know, and at whatever pressure, whatever, um, wherever you happen to be, it writes upside down. It's, it's the kind of pen you want in an emergency, basically. And this is an emergency pen, is it not? Defensive and emergency for all other purposes. Uh, let's talk about some other features of it that are possibly not perfect, but not that bad. Now, I like the pocket clip a lot. It's got a really nice look to it. Very elegant. The elegance of that uh, clip goes along with the look of the pen very, very well. I like it. However, I have not discovered a way to twist this cap off to remove the pocket clip if I chose to. And why would I do that? Well, if you carry this in, let's say, your pants pocket, and you're getting up and in and out of chairs and in and out of cars, this will occasionally catch on things. Yes, it will. And what's going to happen then? It's going to get bent out uh, over, over time, unfortunately. That's probably going to happen eventually, so I would like a way to take that off and be able to bend that back down. Now, it's not, it's not really done that for me yet. I can talk about, uh, oh, like my Prion 2, uh, that's, man, that thing, the pocket clip on that is bent out on me so many times. It pisses me off. This has not done that for me yet, but I can see that it maybe has the potential to, and I don't really know how I would fix it if it did. I suppose I'd contact CRKT and go from there. Otherwise, I really can't find anything about this pen that I dislike. I like the looks of it. I like the reach. You know, you really do have quite a lot of pen there sticking out for that tactical use. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very well-designed uh, pen from, from our friends at CRKT and designer James Williams. Good job on this thing. The CRKT, James Williams Tactical Pen. Check this thing out. It's going to be around $40, so yeah, on the high end for a pen. But considering that it also takes on the role of some of these other things and makes it so that you can do kind of a lot of what that stuff does with just a pen, well, it might just be worth it. Well, that's my review. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm the Late Boy Scout, and I'll see you on the next one.